Zach uh, Cunningham getting signed? You know, what, what do you what have you seen from him over the years, and what do you think he might be able to add uh, to the D? Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, just from playing them, you know, he pops off on the film. A uh, physical player gets to the ball a lot. Um, I'm I, I'm pretty sure everyone's excited to have him. Um, and I feel like he can, you know, add a lot of value to this defense just by how he plays. What does it say to you guys? What kind of message does it send that the front office is willing to make that kind of move late in the game? I mean, I, I just I just feel like everyone here has one goal in mind, and that's to win games. And and I feel like everyone's doing what they think is best for us to win those games. So I mean, I'm not surprised by it. I mean, everybody's just I feel like doing their part to make this the best team possible. Week and maybe a week off help you, and maybe where what where, where will it benefit you the most? Being getting a little bit of rest. Uh, yeah, I mean, everyone knows the NFL season's a long season, so you know I feel like that bye week was good for us um, to give give guys those rests, you know, including myself. Um, so yeah, no, nah, man, I think it was definitely a big help. Um, I feel like guys are rejuvenated. Uh, I feel like I'm rejuvenated, so I'm ready to go. I feel like to go out there like like. Rigola said that you know you weren't necessarily 100 percent, but you know went out there anyway. How, how tough is that? And, and uh, you know make that decision to go out even if you're not you know full strength as opposed to taking a week and sit down. Yeah, no, nah, I mean I value being available uh, as a player. So I mean if I'm walking, I'm playing. So I mean that's just how that's just how my mindset is. Like it's just no doubt in my mind. Like I want to be out there. So it's just that simple. His message this week being back to basics and fundamentals. Like, how do you apply that to, to your game personally? What does that mean to you? Uh, I think it's just like just taking uh, each snap, one snap at a time, and focusing on just your details and uh, your fundamentals of each play. You know, hands inside, on the rise, striking, playing physical, playing violently um, on our sheds and everything, and tying all that together in the run game and in the pass game. For you guys up front to get back to being disruptive, and, and, you know, whether that be sacks or just bothering quarterbacks this weekend. Yeah, no, I mean that's always a uh, a big part of every week. You know, if our front is disrupting, it definitely makes it it all works together. If we're disrupting, then our, our you know our back end's making plays and vice versa. And it's always crucial for your your front to be disruptive and you know to be attacking the ball and making plays in the backfield to set up those third and longs and. Hopefully your defense gets off the field and we can give good field position to the offense and, you know, just keep trying to give them the ball back. Maybe in the last game or so, the, kind of the, he noticed the team speed maybe just a little fraction down after playing for you know, 12 straight weeks. What can maybe a, a week off, you know, what, what can added speed mean for, for the defense overall? Oh, uh, yeah, no, I mean, I just feel like a lot of guys on our defense, like, you know, their trademark is like, you know, we play fast, we play physical, and that week off, you know, like I said before, the season's a long season, so the week off definitely helped, you know, getting guys' legs back, getting them fresh. Um, and I just feel like when you have a group of guys on defense that fly around, you know, they, you know, every single play, you know, the long season can take a toll. So, I mean, the bye week helped out, and, you know, I feel like we should be flying around on Sunday.